This video is addressed to those dreaming of career in web development and seeking a path to successful employment. In today's discussion, we will dive into the world of web development, examine effective learning strategies and determine where to start studying this field. Additionally, I will share valuable tips on how to efficiently learn web development and where to look for web developer job vacancies. Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir and I am a web developer sharing my experience on my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and leave your comment at the end of the video. When started in web development, it's important to choose not a programming language, but the area of activity that interests you. A web development is divided into two key areas, front-end and back-end which correspondingly determines the specialization of developers. There are also full-stack developers who are proficient in both areas, front-end and back-end. However, it's better to start by mastering one direction. Let's delve into the role of a front-end developer. This specialists work on what users directly see. Uh, this can include the design of websites and application, layout and development of users' interfaces. Taking a car as an example, it's like its interior and exterior, how the car looks, its color and so on. If you are drawn to the visual aspect and aspire to creative work, then this direction is for you. On the other hand, backend developers deal with server logic and data processing. Using the car analogy again is everything under the hood, the engine, the ignition system and so forth. If programming architectural tasks and working with data excite you, the backend development is the idea choice for you. As for the skills required for a front-end developer, you will need to learn HTML to structure content on web pages, CSS for styling web pages to ensure a beautiful appearance of the site or application. JavaScript is the key language for creating interactive and dynamic elements on websites. After that, you move on to studying frameworks based on JavaScript, such as React, Angular and Vue, which simplify and accelerate web application development. For a backend developer, it's sufficient to be proficient in at least one programming language as uh, after mastering one, transition to other languages becomes are significantly easier. Among the main languages for backend development are JavaScript using Node.js and Express for fast and convenient development, especially popular in startups. Java, a powerful object-oriented language, uh, often used in large projects and backend for financial applications. PHP, a language on which most websites operate, and the basic for popular CMS like Joomla and WordPress. Though uh, it has a reputation for being outdated. Python, the number one language in machine learning and data science, known for its simplicity and efficiency. In web development, it is often used with frameworks like Django and Flask for creating websites. Once you have decided on a direction, I would recommend a general web development course from Harvard. It's an excellent course for those who want to master web development. I will leave a link in the description below the video. You will learn technologies like HTML, CSS, Git, Python, Django, SQL, models and migration JavaScript and so on. After completing the course, develop a couple more projects to add to your resume. After such a journey, the next step is the job hunting. Job searching is a separate skill that needs to be constantly improved. I want to say right away that moving to remote work is not recommended because the skills of working on a real project are very important. Believe me, colleagues always have something to teach especially if you are at the very beginning of your IT career. Create a LinkedIn account and constantly develop it 
add new people and communicate. LinkedIn is an excellent network where you can find like-minded people or the job of your dreams. If you're interested, I can make a separate video on how to properly manage a LinkedIn social network. Write in the comments if this would uh, be interesting to you. That's all. If the video was helpful, subscribe, like and see you in the next video. Bye!